What weird things happen during sex that nobody warns you about? When you accidentally pull out too far and almost snap your dick in half with the next thrust. When you try to be sexy and pull out and go back and over and over, but all you're doing is making her queef. Curious pets investigating. As a guy, trying not to come often feels like those mini games where you have to keep a needle in the middle of a green zone while different factors try to push it left or right. You think you're about to finish? Better start counting prime numbers in your head to distract yourself. Nope, got too distracted and now your erection is starting to go away. Now thrust harder to compensate and you now inexplicably feel like you're going to orgasm while having only a semi-erect penis. Then to top it all off, sometimes you stop just a millisecond too late and you get this pathetic 5% orgasm where you feel virtually nothing, don't actually come, but your dick has decided that the show is over and retreats for winter. Then you have to try to explain what just happened to some poor girl who thinks she did something to instantaneously kill your erection without any hope of it returning. I struggle so badly with this. Good to hear I'm not the only one. Yay, everyone always says relax. Just enjoy yourself. Which is totally fine if you don't mind constantly running the risk of orgasming after 30 seconds. Sex is obviously a lot of fun, but it can take a lot of mental gymnastics if you actually care about whether your partner has a good time. Sometimes you can't finish, applies to both sexes. Not always a bad thing, as I know it can knock your pride. Weird, that's something you work around. Most assume you are going to finish overly dramatically like in porn, or at least that's what my friends and I thought. To spare my wife's feelings, early in the relationship, if I couldn't finish. I faked it and claimed it must have been a ghost load edit, highest rated comment for me, and it's about invis jizz. Thanks for the gold silver folks. Did you just drool on my back and grunt to make me think you came? No. Hip cramps. Basically when your legs are spread too wide for too long and your hip flexor becomes a traitor requiring your leg to be straight or you'll be in too much pain for enjoyment. Even worse when it's both of your hip flexors cramping at the same time. Edit, spelling edit too, never thought me admitting to getting hip cramps during sex would result in gold twice in addition to being my most liked comment. Thanks Reddit. Yes and not the only one hooray. And now I know that I can go fix it, thank you. Just keep in mind that there is no 100% fix. Stretching can definitely help if you have tight hip flexors but it won't prevent them from cramping entirely. Especially if you're going at it for a while. Water is not a lubricant. The amount of stamina required and the significant value of general fitness. If someone had told me in school that gym class was mainly going to aid you in sexual contexts, I would have made a much greater effort. Just when she's getting close, my tongue cramps up. Jaw, fingers, and the needing to breathe when she has both your nose and mouth in just the perfect spot. Other benefits of the Wim Hof method. When you're so close together that you're now basically stuck together with sweat and having to pull yourself apart after. And sometimes the hollows of your chest or whatever suction to theirs and make a fart sound. Then you've got to stop and laugh. Chest farts are, indeed, a thing. So I dated this girl in college for a bit. The first time we ducked doggy, I was surprised to see her butthole dilate to the size of a dime. Never seen that before or since in any other partner. Sometimes I wonder if I imagined it. Edit, wow, so that blew up. To answer questions, my surprise came from the fact that I hadn't touched her asshole, it just gaped open all on its own. It stayed that way until she orgasmed at which point it slammed shut with her orgasmic contractions. No, she didn't fart poop. No, I did not put it in her butt at that point, I know I know, I probably should have. I was young and relatively inexperienced. We did butt stuff eventually though and I can confirm she was definitely into it. We didn't date very long though, she was cray, all the best ones are it seems. She took a picture to capture the moment. You can be sexually incompatible with someone. They might want the deep slow romantic shit you see in movies, and you might want filthy degrading dirty talk. And you might be turned off doing what they like most. And vice versa, also the leg cramps. Your dick occasionally slips out. Then it tries to find a different hole. AKA the showstopper. Showstopper yeah. That's an accurate term all right. When you try out a new position and it really doesn't work, and you kind of just have to be like eh, next. When neither of you can get your angles right. 
Yeah, that's just my butt crack. A latex allergy makes things interesting for me. I have to always prepare and bring latex-free condoms if sex will be a possibility. It's a little awkward when a guy goes for a condom and I have to give him the briefing on what's up and go for mine instead. And you can't really predict if it's a good fit for him. Fun stuff. Oh I always keep latex-free condoms since my last GF had an allergy too. Found out it wasn't that rare. Something happens that you didn't necessarily want or plan for, then you realize you kind of like that. Kinks almost happen by accident. Edit, thanks for the silver and gold you kinky ducks. One time my wife was writing me and her phone range. She answered it. Instacom. How does that work for you now? Do you ask your wife to ring people during sex, or do you ask friends to ring your wife at certain times so you can plan for it? I bet he signed her up for so many ducking telemarketers. Ducking telemarketers. Lol. You realize your cat likes to watch. This is the worst. Especially as they're not only watching but curious. You're in the heat of the moment. Feeling good. Forgetting you even have a cat. And then. You feel their little paws in places they should never be. Edit, thanks for the silver. Forget about the paws. Our cat bites our fingers. You are lucky. Mine's paws were found a lot farther south. Flopping and slapping noises is your body's meat. The noises. And the smells. Sex has its own smell. I used to deliver Chinese food and pizza in a resort mountain town. I delivered to someone at a fancy lodge once time and a dude in a robe opened the room door the sex funk hits me square in the nose. Most potent I ever smelled, like it was going to linger in the hallway for a while after the door closed, that's strong. He asks me if I'm having a good night as he's paying me, and I said, not as good a one as you and I hear a woman start cracking up in the room. Edit, my first silver, thank you mystery benefactor. Policemen will sometimes rudely interrupt you by knocking on the car window. This happened to my buddy once. Cop asked him what he thought he was doing and he just pointed at his girlfriend hashtag x200b, edit, thanks for my first gold, kind stranger. Happened to me once and they were cool, said you two finish up and get out of here. Jokes on them, she never finished. I'm a woman with long hair and poor eyesight, so I always have to plate my hair back, learn that early on, and if I want to see anything I have to have my contacts in. When people said you had to prepare for sex, this was not what I had in mind. BF and I both have miserable eyesight. I can't see more than 2 inches in front of my face without my glasses on, same with him. Sex is 65% trying to not scratch each other's glasses trying to make out. Your hand cramps up or your elbow starts hurting. Well if you have a cold, and you are on top, it may happen that snot dribbles out onto your beloved and this may or may not make you laugh. When you go to kiss your honey and your nose is kinda runny you may think it's funny but it's not. If your significant other is lactating, the oxytocin from sex can cause milk to squirt on you. This thread better not awaken anything in me. Oh, well hello new fetish. Sometimes, hypothetically, the girl could be on top riding and you could wind up for a playful slap on the ass, and accidentally slap yourself directly in the balls causing great pain for one party and uproarious laughter for the other pretty much derailing the whole thing, I wouldn't know anything about this, but it, uh, happened to a friend of mine. I'm waking up to ash and dust I miss her ass and I slap my nuts. Sometimes, even if a woman is really turned on, she doesn't get wet. Ada, thank you for the gold. I recently started not getting wet even when I'm very turned on. Thank you for sharing so I know I'm not alone. You should mention it to your doctor. Sometimes it's a medication side effect, or it can indicate certain conditions.